All right, so in this video, I'm going to quickly show you how to create a more cinematic look in Touch Designer and how to quickly switch between different LUTs, which we're going to use for this. All right, so I'm going to just delete this part and start with a sample movie file in video. And all I've got to do here to add a LUT is to add an open color IO top. And what I can do now is I can go to File Transform and click on Use Transform. And it's going to give me an error because I haven't defined a file source. So I'm going to just go ahead and look for a LUT that I'm going to use. I, I just have this folder here with different LUTs. So I'm just going to go ahead and use this one for now. And um, then I'm going to just add a null to this. And as you can see, we've already changed our video basically we've already changed the look so now i can just go through different ones and you can look in the description for a link for some lots you can download and basically these are just kind of like image filters right so you have image filters in touch designer all right so you might want to not have the full effect so what you could do for that is just add a cross top and add the open color io top into the second input and then route that to the bg here and now on my cross, I can fade between the effect off and on. So I can just kind of decide how strong I want the effect to be. You could even add something like composite and try different sort of effects here to, to even give you more, more space to play around with. All right, so you might, might be slightly annoyed if you have to like click on this every time you want to select a new lot so what you can do is you can add a folder that I've already done that and define the folder here or look for the folder here that you want to use where all your nuts are in so then what we're going to do here is just add a select that and select only like deselect the first row basically and then also only select the second column because we only want to have the paths i'm going to add a null to this and i'm going to call this source src and then in my open color IO top, what I can do here, instead of looking for or typing in the full path here, I can just reference this path down there. So I'm just going to change this to Python and then type in OP SRC and then zero, zero. So like row zero, column zero. So it's just going to pick up the first one here. So Arabica, that's the first step. Now what we can do is we can add, for example, a keyboard in. Could also be a mouse and whatever you want. And then we can add a count to that. And on my count, I'm going to change the limit here to loop min max. And for the maximum, I'm going to reference the amount of lots that we have in here is the amount of rows. So op src dot num rows. So now basically we have, it's just going to like every time we press one, it's just going to increment. And once it reaches the amount of lots that we have in here, it's just going to restart from the beginning. I'm going to add a null to this and call this one index. Then on my open color IO top, I'm going to connect the index here to this row selection, basically. So I'm going to type in OP index and then zero. And then it's not going to work because we also have to convert this to an int. So just type in int open parentheses and then also close them again. And now we can just press one and it's going to go through all the different LUTs in our folder. And again, we can change how strong they are here. It's just a nicer way to, to quickly go through different styles. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you on the next one.